Hello, my name is Isil Khan and in this video, we'll be just learning the concrete work for I-shaped garter. And this will be just the volume determination of I-shaped garter, of course, and there are actually many types. Uh, I mean, uh, the section may be different for the I-shaped garter. Let me just show you and let me just jump into my articulate a little bit over here and let me do a little uh, 3D orbit over here to understand the problem a little better. If you see over here, this section, this is also an eye shaped over here. If you see it, of course, and there is some kind of curvature over here in this shape, of course, in this section, right? There is some kind of pellet, of course, if you see. And this one does have sharp edges over here, and this one does have actually little chamber in over here, right? If you see. So actually, the sections are different, right? And we'll just do uh, the calculation for only these two guys. One this one, which is situated in the center of these three, and one this one, because these two are used mostly, right? So let me just go again into my presentation a little bit over here, right? This one. All right. So to understand the problem better, I just want to uh, do an example over here. And let's say this is example first and we are asked to calculate the volume of concrete work for the given garter. We are also informed to assume the length of the garter is 20 feet and we are also informed to ignore any type of steel. And this is just actually a standard section over here. The dimensions are just like in this pump. And these dimensions are actually just uh, enough to calculate the volume or the concrete work for the given garter section. So I'll come directly into solution over here. And in the solution, just remember these four steps. In the first step, we'll convert this section into simple geometric shapes. And then we'll calculate the section area of each segment. And in the third step, we'll add the sectional areas of each segment. That's of course the total sectional area. And then we'll multiply the total sectional area with the length of the garter. So we can get of course the volume or the concrete work for the given garter section. All right, so these are just four steps and we'll follow of course these guys and now let's come into the solution over here remember the first one step to convert the complicated geometry into simple geometric shapes just like in this pumps we got of course only three rectangles were here and now we can calculate the sectional area per each rectangle were here like the area of the bigger pulse that's of course 24 right which is the length you can say times the thickness or the height of this rectangle which is six inches in this time and if you multiply these both we can get of course one double four square inches is the area of the figure past and an area of figure second must be 36 inches which is the height of the rectangle times the thickness or the breadth of the rectangle which is 6 inches in this time and if you do mathematics with this we can get of course 216 square inches as the area of figure number second and an area of figure number third is the same as an area of figure number one which is 24 times 6 equals 144 square inches and by adding these three areas, we can get the total sectional area by the garter, which is 504 square inches. Also, we can convert this video into square piece if we divide this by 12 two times. Now, what should be the volume of the garter? That must be the sectional area times the length of the garter. Like we can say, of course, the volume of the garter equals the sectional area. So 3.5 times the length of the garter, which is also known 20 feet. So 3.5 times 20, we can get, of course, the volume of the garter equals 70 cubic feet. So this is how we can calculate the volume of concrete work by the given garter. Because the garter section is so simple, and now I'm going ahead for the next example, so we can get a little bit complicated section over there, right? Let's go ahead. Let's say this is example second. And we are asked to work out concrete by the given bridge garter. The length of the garter is just 30 feet. If you see the data is so clear, so I'll come directly into solution. And in the solution, remember those four steps. The first step is to convert this complicated shape into simple geometric shapes. And I recommend you to do just like as I'm doing over here. If you see the dotted lines, those are just only red lines, right? So we got, of course, only five geometric shapes were here and now I can calculate the sectional area per each segment over here and let's say area bigger past must be 24 inches which is the breadth of the garter times the thickness of that portion which is 5 inches so if you multiply these both we can get of course the area bigger number past equals 120 square inches 
And what should be area figure number two now? If you see those are only triangles, so area figure number two must be one half base times height because those are only right angle triangles. And remember, where here figure number two are two n numbers if you see. So we'll multiply this formula with two to get the area of both triangles. Now we can do plug and check again, like area figure number two must be the base. That's of course known if you see 8.75 inches from the bottom of course. So 8.75 inches times height, which is also known 4.5 inches divided by two times two. So we can get of course area figure number two equals 39.375 square inches. And then area figure three must be its height, which is total of course 43 inches. And this is the summation of 4.5 inches, 31.5 inches and 7 inches of course, which is of course the total height, right, times its thickness of the bread, if you see, 6.5 inches. We'll get of course area figure number 3 equals 279.5 square inches. And then if you see from the diagram, figure number 4 is a right angle triangle, so its area must be 1 half times its base times its height. And also these are two n numbers, so we will multiply the formula with 2. And of course we can do little plug again. As you see the base of this right angle triangle is the same as above 8.75 inches times its height that's known 7 inches divided by 2 times 2. So we'll get area figure number 4 equals 61.25 square inches. And then area figure number 5 must be its base which is 24 inches of course times its thickness or height if you see that's 6 inches so 24 times 6 inches that's area figure number 2 which is 1 double 4 square inches and if we add all these five areas I mean the segments areas we'll get the total sectional area equals 6 double 4 point 1 to 5 square inches and that's it also we can convert this video into square feet if we divide this video by 12 two times so we'll get the sectional area in square feet, that's 4.473 square feet. Now once we have the total sectional area, then of course we can calculate the concrete for the given bridge garter. That must be the sectional area times its length. Our volume of the garter must be the sectional area, that's known, we did this a few seconds ago, which is 4.473 square feet times its length, that's also known, 30 feet. And if you multiply these both, we'll get of course the volume of the garter, or you can say the concrete work by the given bridge garter equals 134.19 cubic feet. And that's it. And this was just a simple mathematic, and we learned how do we calculate the concrete work by the given bridge garter. So what? Nothing. Just hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button and never miss another update from an engineer boy. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time. Hello salam.